Well, good morning everyone, and welcome back to the outpost. Glad that you guys had time to stop by and visit with us while we're working on this compost toilet. Um, this has been a really fun project and it's coming along great. I'm trying to do a little finish touch up before I get to the outside. Um, but before I do the outside, I'm going to have to debark some lumber. So I'm going to go ahead and go up there where I'm going to do that so I will meet you up there. There we go, see that? Pine rosin. I'm gonna have to save that bark. Really good fire starter there. I get a lot of comments. Um, people asking 
what do I do with the slabs or the outer um, portion that I cut off when I'm milling it up? Well, I save it for things like this. I can't save every bit of it because if I did, I would have a humongous pile. So some of it's given away, some of it's cut up for uh, to burn, but I save also pieces for projects like this. I'm also asked, what do I do with the sawdust? Well, I don't have a place that I can put it in the dry, but down in the hollow, I have a huge pile of sawdust. And of course, you know, it's already started decomposition, so I will use it for um, composting. Um, you know, use it for fertilize for the garden and things like that. Um, when I get this compost toilet build, that will become part of the compost pile. I've got some 4 by 8 blocks left that I think what I'm going to do is use those to build myself a compost area. I'll have two bins. They'll be about as wide as my tractor bucket. That way, whenever it's ready to use, I can just get the tractor bucket in there, grab a hold of it, and uh, it'll be ready to go, and I can get a big scoop at a time. I took that board that I cut and cut it in half because instead of boxing in under the eaves, this would be the easiest and the quickest to do.
Well, it's that time of the month again to talk about the winner for the month of August and our giveaway for September. So after this, I will go home, get on the computer, and we will draw a name for the month of August. But for September, we decided to go ahead and give away uh, something that I use, uh, probably should use more often, because I've kind of neglected some of this because of doing so much work, peeling the bark, uh, trying to get things uh, going, uh, keep them going here. But anyway, we found one on Amazon that's uh, like this. It's actually put in a really nice uh, box, and then on the top of it, it's got like a strop for your uh, tools. But this is a water stone. I'll bring it up closer to the camera where you can see it. It is 3,000 on one side and 8,000 on the other. Um, I believe that the one that we have chose to give away uh, is 1,000 and 6,000, but this is a fine finished stone. Now these are just rubber pieces that you actually set it on. It keeps it from scooting on the table when you're working your uh, tools down. Uh, but this is something that you can use to keep your tools very sharp. Now you would have to use something else in the beginning to take them from factory edge to um, semi-sharp, but this is something that you would maintain them with. But like I say, the one that um, we are going to give away actually is in a nice box with a strop on the top of it. Um, this is a water stone. Again, it's not, you don't put oil on it. You just submerse it in water, and as soon as the stone collects the water, then you start working your uh, tools down and every once in a while you just dab some more water on it. Um, but yeah, I really like this and that is what we have decided to give away for the month of uh, September. So hopefully, you know, if you've got tools like this that need to be razor sharp and this is still very, very sharp, uh, something like this, uh, your axes, of course you got to be careful because my son nearly cut his finger off by just holding the wood, he got it started and, and just hammering it down on the stump and that thing, when it gave way, it come down and caught his finger. So you gotta be very careful because uh, these get sharp enough, you know, where you can shave hair. Or, you know, like my knife here, now don't pay attention to the color because this is a working knife, um, but, you know, keeping it sharp to be able to do the things that you need to do. And honestly, folks, I tell you, if you got sharp tools, then you can do your job. They're much more dangerous if they're dull because then you have to try to force whatever you're doing and that just puts you in harm's way. So anyway, hopefully some lucky winner will um, be the proud owner of this for the month of September. So be sure to go down into the comment section, make a comment, tell us a video that you would like to see as a comment, you know, because that does give us some ideas. But anyway, um, I'm going to head home so you all meet me there and we will draw the winner for the month of August. Hey guys, I made it home. I've got the video that was the 1st of August pulled up here. I've also got the random picker pulled up. I've got the URL copied. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn around here and we're going to pick the winner for the month of August for the draw blade. Okay, right here was the video. It was season 2, uh, episode 33. That's me showing the draw knife right there. I've got that URL right there copied. I already placed it in the random picker, so I'm going to get the YouTube comments. And it looks like there was 254 comments, so right down here we're going to start the drawing. So right there is Rob Culp. So Rob, you're the winner for the month of August for the nice draw knife. Be sure and send us your information to our email and be sure and do that within the next couple of weeks or we'll have to draw another winner. But anyway, let's get back to the movie.
up there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Hold it. I think I can get it. and push that in. to sit down here for a minute and get us a drink because I'm going to get my chainsaw and head over to my sister's house and see if I can't drop another tree because um, the cabin needs a few more 1 by 10s and it takes a good sized tree to do that so um, we just wanted to get us a drink but leave us some comments what you're thinking about that little compost toilet we wanted to put a few of the battens on there to kind of see what it was going to look like so we're quite pleased with it. Um, it'll up, end up being a little bit two-tone on the side because the boards that I put on there will end up being lighter than the other boards or could end up being darker when I flame brush it, we'll see. But um, before I put a clear coat on it, that's what I'm gonna do to help preserve it. But um, yeah, it's, it's coming together quite nice, we think. So leave us some comments on what you think.
Why are frogs so happy? Because they eat whatever bugs them. <laughs> yes. Yes. So why did the hobbit put his phone on silent? I don't know. Because he was afraid that the ring would get him away. I haven't <laughs> seen Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'm sure that some of you all have. And uh, he had to keep the ring hidden. Because if he didn't, he would be found. And the movie could have ended up a whole lot different than it did. But Where'd he hide it? You know what Carl said when he seen the movie? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> He's so silly, y'all. Mm. <laughs> Poor little feller. Ain't no better than squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway. All right. Um, Let's go follow a tree. Fell a tree. Fell a tree. Why do you think that they say fella tree? I don't know. Sounds like a fella. It's almost like it's past tense. Yeah. You know, which it would be after you, after it comes down, right? That's the way they, they say it. They say, um, we're going to go fell some trees. They do. I say fall. <laughs> anyway, cheers, guys. Sweet tea, y'all. Wiggle it. You ought to see this tree, Aunt Susie.
well we got uh, four logs hauled out of there so that was a good day's work I measured that one it's about 22 inches in diameter so it's going to make several and probably make about 14 maybe 15 I'm not sure straight up and down and I'm probably going to get some off the sides too so I think that I'm going to have enough to finish off the siding for the cabin then there is a pine that's growing in that turnaround up there at my sister's house it's kind of leaning so she wants that taken out so I'm going to cut it down for two by fours and it will make quite a few so won't be long we'll be ready to start putting the floor in the cabin down there and then form framing some walls and throwing those up on the outside so that I can get it closed in and work on it hopefully during the winter time anyway we I'm glad that you guys had time to stop by and hang out with us I think this is Jennifer's last video negative Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm spending my last free day okay with this man right anyway here she's she's going to be only coming in on the weekends because she has to go back to school and uh, you know I mentioned on one of the lives that um, I was thinking about leaving in February but I don't know the more I think about it I may just decide just to go ahead and leave and do this full-time because there would be so much stress taken out of my life I'm telling you, the medical field is, is a different animal now. So, um, we'll just have to see. But anyway, yeah, glad you guys had time to stop by and hang out with us. And um, hope that you have a great afternoon. Hope you're digging that little compost toilet down there. Uh, it, it has become our favorite project, I think, out of... I mean, this kitchen was fun, but... That's cute down the, there. The Hobbit house... The Hobbit Outdoor Compost Toilet. We're just going to have to nickname it the Hobbit House. But anyway, that project down there has turned into something that's fun. So We need to hang a ring in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, hope you guys have a great afternoon. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost again next time. Much love. Bye.